In 2023, Victoria's Secret commissioned 20 artists from around the globe to reimagine its iconic runway show. This is one of their stories. What kind of music do you make? I don't think I have a particular kind of music, but I feel like every time that I make music, it's coming from like the depths of who I am. It's being able to tap into, you know, your higher self. I think you say I make wavy music. I, I like make, that. I make wavy music. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kwati. I'm a filmmaker, but I'm also here as your guide into the lives of some really interesting women in Lagos, Nigeria. And I'm here to take you into the incredible life of Wavy the Creator. My name is Wavy the Creator, and I am a creative, an all-around creative. Photography, fashion, music. I feel like art is basically the center of my world. And everything I am, I'm in Wavy's house today. Um, we have a lot to do. We're working on a lot. Um, well, she has been working on a lot. I'm supposed to meet her to enter her world and enter her life. <laughs> I like how I'm kind of like in everybody's, everybody's life and story. I'll just show up out of nowhere and I'm just, I'm there. As we got into Wavy's studio. Ah! Just blazing hot. For the Victoria's Secret show, I'm working with a producer, Higo, working with a writer, Tim. I'm trying to make a very powerful, empowering song about a woman that could inspire people, you know, and that can be relatable to a lot of women as well. So in the talking match, like that's a bounce, right? Oh. Yo, here you go. Please let me record the bounce for this talking bit right here, real quick. You alright? So did you always know you wanted to like be in the arts? As young as I can remember, I had a very strong like desire to want to create things out of nothing. Where'd you grow up? I grew up partly here in Lagos and in Kansas City, Missouri as well. Going to a state like Missouri was strange. I can't lie. Coming from Lagos, I felt like not a lot of people understood me except for my mom. I was a very introverted kid. I just was always to myself. I just felt like an alien. Do you still feel like an alien? Yeah, sometimes. Especially when I came to Lagos. I was supposed to be coming back home. But it felt like I was in a foreign land. <laughs> there have been a lot of misconceptions about who I am, especially like, for example, my gender. Everywhere I went to, it was just like, I either got stares or questions, and... but I embraced it. You know, Cause it gave me a spotlight. Moving back to Lagos, were you doing music at the time? No, at all. Until one day, my friend was going to a studio session. He just randomly comes at me and is like, oh, Wave, do you want to go to studio? And I was like, okay. The producer's making a beat, and I was like, oh, this is interesting. And so I start like humming a melody, and he's like, that sounds good. I was like, oh, okay. And I record it, and it's actually like a crazy song. Uh -huh. 
was very skeptical about how people were gonna accept it. And people like loved it and I was like, oh, okay, I can make music. Music kind of brought me out of my shell. You know, if it was fashion, photography, I was always behind the scene. But with music, I had to like come out and you know, take the center stage. I missed the second one. Let's go again. What's the most difficult part of the process for you? Putting music out. It's, it's stressful. I feel like it's a... Yeah. I don't like... So is the bass the side is okay? Like where yeah. the bass plays, right? Yeah. So does that mean you have time where you doubt yourself or your work? Yeah, a lot of times, you know, music is a very consuming craft. It kind of takes up, you know, the whole of who you are. And if you're giving something so much attention, you're not getting things back from it. It could be, it could be, you know, sad. And you can have a lot of down times because of this. What do you do when you have creative blocks? I leave it. I just do other things. I don't like to stress it because like, mm -hmm. music can come to you. You can have a really good day where you're just like back to back and you're spitting. And then you can have days where you're just like, what is going on? Honestly, you allow yourself to feel discouraged. You know, cry if you need to, you know, whatever it is, express yourself. go through the emotions and you come back stronger. Does anything scare you? Giving up. Thank you.